It's my pleasure today to talk about the results of uh, our study. Uh, it's a, it was a phase one, two study using CAR T cells in BLL patient relapsed after hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. And this was a study that used donor-derived uh, CAR, uh, CD19 CAR T cells generated with uh, non viral vector sleeping beauty and differentiated in cytokine killer uh, in the cell. And we decided to use non viral vector and donor derived cell because uh, this can um, allow us to reduce the logistical complexity and the cost of viral process. And furthermore, uh, we think that donor derived cells uh, um, may be convenient in patients who receive intensive chemotherapy. And uh, this study is basically an um, academic multicenter and the phase one to uh, dose escalation trial. And the role patient, uh, adult and pediatric patient in Monza and Bergamo, Italy. Um, after standard lymphodepletion, patients are infused with a single dose of um, the cellular product uh, uh, named Carcia KCB19. And this is a cellular product manufactured in house, starting from 50 ml of peripheral blood from the previous allo transplant donor. And basically, cells are electroporated with the sleeping beauty transposon plasmid, according a third generation CD19 car, including the CD28 OX40 uh, co stimulation. And then they are differentiated to our cytokine inducer killer cell because this population uh, is characterized by a high safety profile with minimal occurrence of graft versus host disease. And uh, um, Basically, we, um, the cellular product was successfully produced for all our patients and was derived from HLA identical sibling donor, matching related donor, and also a identical donor. And at the end, we got a mean of 36% of car expression. And so far, we treated 21 patients, four children, 17 uh, adults. And those patients are, are uh, all evenly pretreated with at least one allogenic transplant. 28% of patients got also a second allogenic transplant and relapsed. And they uh, were all characterized by a high tumor burden. And, but despite that, we uh, did see uh, a robust expansion of CAR T cells uh, in most of the treated patients. And CAR T cells were measurable up to 22 months. And the, uh, resp our responders show pharmacokinetic property that were very comparable to the one um, reported for adult patient treated with uh, TISA uh, cell. Uh, I have to say that an important point here is that it appeared to be very, very uh, tolerable, uh, tolerable uh, product because basically uh, grade one and grade two CRS uh, were observed only in six patients and uh, high cans in two patients treated at high agate dose. And graft versus host disease was never observed, although some patients um, develop graft versus host disease after the previous transplant. So this is, I think, is a really important point. And considering the efficacy of the trial, uh, at the highest dose, we uh, observe 73% of complete remission. Eight of, out of 11 responders were also MRD positive. And at the end, the medium overall survival was 73% at six months and 48% at one year. And this was associated with CAR T cell expansion and induction of B cell ablation. So in conclusion, I think that the data looks very encouraging, but in terms of safety and efficacy, and therefore, we think that these findings strongly support uh, production of non viral CAR T cells from the cell of the donor as an alternative strategy to generate CAR T cell immunotherapy.